Hi guys, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I'm here today with this beautiful desk that I've been working on the past few weeks. And I have decided to add some stripes to it to give it a little bit of a classy French provincial look. So today I'm using my frog tape. This is frog tape. This is just the lid off the packaging. Um, frog tape is painter's tape and it's designed so that you get nice clean lines. And it's also designed not to peel off the paint off your surface um, because this paint hasn't been sealed. So obviously you don't want that to be peeled off before you're even finished. So uh, very, very easy process. You can add stripes to just about anything. Um, I've got myself a just a credit card, whatever you've got hanging around. And this I'll use to smooth down the uh, edges of my tape. And all that is doing is making sure those edges are sealed nice and tightly so that we don't have any uh, bleed through underneath. I also have a piece of smaller tape here that you can see it doesn't go all the way to the ends. This piece here is my guide. This piece I will move each time I finish the stripe. And all this is doing is making sure that my spacing in between each stripe is exactly the same. So I'm using the edge of my guide tape with my tape roll. I prefer to keep the tape on its roll until it's in position uh, most of the time. Sometimes I get a bit clumsy and I prefer to take it off or I get a bit ahead of myself. But it's really that easy. And all I'm doing, I'm just feeling it because I can't see it that well. I'm a little bit blind. But I'm just feeling it with my finger. And you can feel whether or not it's smooth and on the paint or if it's raised a little bit. Like just here, you guys obviously can't see it. But just here, I can see there's a little gap. And I don't want that gap between my guide tape and my new piece of tape. And I'm just using my finger to get that nice and straight. And once that bit's straight, I know that the rest of this will be perfect. Take my card. I'm just going to smooth down those edges. And I'll run this over the whole piece once I'm finished as well to make sure it's uh, spot on perfect. There we go. Right, there's another piece done. Fold that over the front. Pick up my guide tape. Now I'm actually going to do the rest of this uh, in a um, time lapse so it's nice and quick. There's no point in me talking the whole way through it. It's quite, a, it's quite, oh, it's not a huge desk. It's about one and a half metres. Uh, but there's no point in me talking the whole way through it. Plus you'll probably get bored of my voice. So nice and easy. Wind it up. This is my guide tape. If you find your piece is quite large and your guide tape is losing some of its some of its sticky and it's just not really going into position that well or you damage the edge or something of it or it rips, just rip yourself off another piece. I like to do it so it's covering about half the desk space. Um, that way I know uh, it is it's covering it properly. Piece and pop it down. Going nice and slow, I keep it on the roll. That just makes it a little bit easier. Um, it, it also just sort of holds the end of it in place too. Oops, that piece isn't very even. All right, so we're all taped up. I have lovely Oliver here helping today. That's whose little fingers are touching things. Um, so, last but not least, I want to take this front piece because I don't want paint spilling over the front. So same process as what I did on the top except it's not a flat surface. But quite a bit of detailing in it and I just want to run it even with the top. Now I've already done this on this far side here next to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a small portion at, the at a time. Just because it makes it a little bit easier to control because the whole width of the desk is a little bit too uh, wide. So I've got my tape, I've got my flat, smooth edge. And I'm gonna start from the corner. And it's easy as this. I should turn this way so you can see. Oh, I lost it. Starting from the corner. And I'm just, oops, same process as what I did lining it up with the, um, with the guiding tape. Except this time I'm using the edge of the desk. 
the guide. All the way along. And smaller pieces of tape are much easier to do this. If you need to, rip them down into tiny bits. This is probably 40, maybe 50 centimetres long. If you need to though, if that's too long, if you're having trouble, pull it down into a smaller piece. All taped up. Take your card before you paint and rub it really, really well. Put some muscle into it on all those edges. You want to make sure they are stuck down as well as possible. So everywhere that there is green is where the French grey is going to be showing. And everywhere where there is the <laughs> French grey showing currently, that is going to be my new colour. Super, super easy. Um, I'm going to use a brush. You can use a roller if you like to put the next coat on. Put the coat of uh, the paint colour that you're going to put on. And I'm only going to do one coat, I think, of the final colour. Because I'm going to give this piece a bit of a shabby chic uh, look. So I'm not too fast if it doesn't cover it like perfectly. There we go. It really is this easy. Anybody can add stripes to anything. Stripes are very in. Um, and if you get the perfect colours, which I think this French grey is, you will have a beautiful looking piece. 